We have come here today rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration. And now we stand with Maximilian and Carly on the day that they intend to form a life and a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. So let us support them, all of us. I can't believe it's finally here. So, good evening, everyone. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Pete Cordero, and I'm proud and honored to be the father of the bride. I'd like to thank Linda, first and foremost, for giving me such a beautiful family and for putting together this incredible event. So I'm overflowing with pride today for my beautiful daughter. And I'd like to quote my cousin, John Bardinelli, who once said, many times said, can you believe that anyone that looks so much like Petey could be so beautiful? Well, that's been my sentiment since I first laid eyes on her 28 years ago today. Carly, happy birthday. We're coming from all different parts of the country, Michigan. Baltimore, Pennsylvania, Charlotte, North Carolina, all just to marry our man Max with his beautiful bride Carly. It's gonna be a great day, we're looking forward to it. So I remember when Carly was a cheerleader in junior high school and she decided that she didn't wanna continue cheerleading the next year. And when I asked her why, she said because the girls were too catty and she thought that it fostered sexism. That is when I knew that she would grow up to be an independent, strong woman like her mother. Carly has always been very wise and has always made good choices. One of the best choices she made was to attend WV Law School because that's where she first met Max. Well, I didn't get too excited at first because Anyone Carly was seeing was always referred to as just friends, and they never lasted more than a year. Well, once Max made it past the first year, I thought, wow, this guy might actually have a chance. <laughs> so I always told Carly that if she finds a guy that treats her as good as her daddy does, then he might be the right one. Well, she made an excellent choice in Max. Carly, you've brought such joy to me and our family. And now I wish you and Max a lifetime of joy together. Max, Lynn and I are so proud to have you as our son-in-law. And I knew that you were really committed when you learned to ski in three days so you could spend the winters with Carly. So Max, welcome to the family and thank you for making Carly so incredibly happy. I've always treated Carly like my little princess. Now it's your turn.
that coming together before your holy altar today, they may be confirmed in their love for you and in their love for one another. Max and Carly, I know that while neither one of you could have imagined uh, the events that have been changing all around us since we began this planning, here we are today. And it's a perfect day, a beautiful day. Today really is a day of gift giving in the greatest kind that we can imagine. Because the greatest gift of all that someone can extend or offer to someone else is being exchanged here between Max and Carly in the presence of God and all of us who are the church. Maximilian and Carly, have you come here to enter into marriage without any coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. I, Maximilian. I, Maximilian. Take you, Carly. Take you, Carly. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to I you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Carly. I, Carly. Take you, Maximilian. Take you, Maximilian. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Tons of family get-togethers and laughter for all the days of your life. 